Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example zero is very cool and fun. There we derive the sine angle addition formula. So check it out. I promise it'll be fun for sure, for sure. Um, but yeah, in this first practical example, we have to find the cosecant of 105. Now, um, remember, cosecant of 105 is the same as 1 over sine of 105. And this is where the sine angle addition formula would come in handy in figuring out sine of 105. Uh, now, we can say that sine of 105 is the same as sine of 45 plus 60. And from here, we use the sine angle addition formula. And uh, we can write that sine of 45 plus 60 is this right-hand side. And you can read, so I'm not going to um, read it. <laughs> all right. Uh, and now, all we have left to do is figure out sine of 45, cosine of 60, and so on. And all that's required to do that is remembering your... Uh, 45, 45, 90 degree side relationship, um, 45, 45, 90 degree triangle side relationship, and then 30, 60, 90 degree uh, triangle side relationship. Um, in my geometry videos, I show you how to derive the 45, 45, 90 and the 30, 60, 90, and I'll link those videos below this if you need them. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Sine of 45, for example, is 1 over root 2, which is the same as root 2 over 2. And so similarly, dealing with the others, um, we can write this, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the four things here are the same as the four things here is what I'm saying. All right, all right. And now we have a little bit of multiplication and simplifying to do. Uh, in particular, this here is like root 2 over 4, right? And then this here is root 6 over 4. And um, nice that we have common denominators so that we can write this. And uh, now, since we have sine of 105, to get cosecant of 105, we just take the reciprocal of this, right? All right, all right. And so when we do, we write this um, 1 over sine of 105, which is going to be this here. Now, uh, if your teacher uh, needs you to rationalize this denominator, all you have to do is multiply by the conjugate of this denominator, top and bottom, right? In other words, uh, this may not be the final answer your teacher might want. Your teacher might ask you to multiply this here uh, in the numerator and denominator by uh, the quantity root 2 minus root 6. That way you won't have any square roots in the denominator. But yeah, I'll let you figure that out. Or, well, I just helped you figure it out. I'll let you deal with that if you have to deal with that. But for me, I'm done here. Yeah? Cool. I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care.